Hi guys, this is Devin. This week on Just the Tips, we look past the heat to find a mirage. All-in-one closed loop cooling systems are a dime a dozen these days, with gamers all around the world looking for the most efficient way to get the most out of their rig. Some who are looking for liquid cooling go for pro-grade, over-the-top, I'd sell my kidney for a custom liquid setups, while others less so. The ML240P Mirage is Cooler Master's answer to premium, efficient, and easy to install liquid cooling. The Mirage is an all-in-one cooler with a 240mm radiator and features some of our greatest cooling tech yet, the second generation dual chamber pump and a special connected blade fan. In a dual chamber pump, hot and cold water are kept apart, creating top tier efficient performance and less wear and tear for an extended lifespan. Likewise, our connected blade fan increases stability for improved sound dampening, which is a big plus if you're sneakily gaming past your bedtime while your mom or significant other sleeps in the next room. With an all-in-one like the Mirage, there are three key things to consider. Location, bracket installation, and proper thermal paste application. Hey, that rhymes. I was a poet and I didn't even know it. Number one, location. The Mirage is best optimized in a chimney effect orientation. We went over this in a previous episode, but TLDR, cold air sinks, hot air rises, and installing things according to that optimizes performance. In order to make the most out of this effect, you're going to want to install the radiator at the top or the front of the case. For most cases, we always recommend installing at the top of the case. Not only does this provide optimal airflow, but it also allows for better tube management. Next proper bracket installation. Make sure your bracket is correctly installed in the proper orientation. If not, it can affect the contact between the cold plate and the CPU and therefore negatively affect the cooling process. Just look, the bracket installed correctly versus incorrectly. Lastly, thermal paste application. Some people like to be all fancy with thermal paste, but we like the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. Simply apply a small dot to the middle of the plate. The pressure of the cooler on the CPU will spread the paste evenly. Remember, a little goes a long way. You're looking to keep your CPU cool, not trying to frost a cupcake. But wait, before you do any of that, please, please, please remember to make sure the little sticker seal on the plate is peeled off. Some of you may be laughing, but it happens way more than you think. After that, always make sure to check that everything is nice and secure, and you should be good to go. An all-in-one cooling system can be finicky and take a lot of hard work, but at the end, you can count on the Mirage to keep you cool when things get hot and heavy. Want to win an ML240P like the one featured in this episode? Simply subscribe and comment below telling us why a dual chamber pump is better and which location you'd choose to install the cooler. So that's that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please subscribe and hit that bell to see me on the weekly. If you have questions, suggestions, or ideas for future episodes, let us know in the comments below and find us on your social media channel of choice. Until next time, catch you on the tip side.